travel and riding is our next guest passion. He's no stranger to our set. Stephen Freeze is shaking things up here in New Haven, and he's back to share another yummy recipe and give us an update on an event that will tempt your palate. Welcome back, Stephen Thanks Freeze. Thanks so much. Good to see Good you. To see you. Because I always say Stephen Fries. It's not Stephen Fries. It's really <laughs> Stephen Freeze. Thank you so very much. We're so happy you're here. Let's talk a little bit about this amazing event that's coming up that you kind of helped kind of birth and organize. About three years ago, I said, you know what, I've gone to so many food events throughout the country, let's do something fun in New Haven. So the Iron Chef is one of my favorite programs on TV and uh, developed it here. And we've got three top chefs competing on Sunday, the 18th of uh, April. And uh, it's going to be held at a wonderful TV-worthy kitchen studio in Wallingford, Connecticut. And it's a fundraiser for Gateway Community College, where yeah, I am if, on the faculty. I was going to say, if, 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 you know, you're always busy, but you're also teaching. Yes, yeah, my full-time job is I'm director of the hotel, restaurant, culinary program at Gateway for 24 years. And then he does a million other things as well, everybody. Oh, right, yes. Let's talk about what we're making today. What are you teaching us? Well, I'm going to teach you how to make Chet Parati's uh, Carciofo Frances, and when I was on one of my on the food scene with Steve segments uh, about a month or two ago, I went to this wonderful restaurant in Vero Beach, Florida, and lo and behold, Chet is originally from Connecticut. He says hello to everybody here, ah. Chet Parati, and uh, this was a wonderful dish he prepared for me. So why don't we uh, have you get started? I know okay. you love to cook. Let's talk about these ingredients. We're going to start first with how many eggs? We're going to start with two eggs. We're going to beat those. Okay. And then we're going to start with. Uh, and I use the larger artichoke hearts. I don't use the little petite ones because they fall apart. Uh, and also, I don't use the, you're not supposed to use the ones that are marinated. These are just regular uh, in water. Okay, and I want to beat these, right, Stephen? Yep, because okay. we're going to dredge them in the flour in a few moments. Okay. Thank we're going to half the artichokes. Ah, we're okay. going to dredge them in the flour, and then we're going to dip them into the egg, and then we're going to put them into the fry pan. It's a real quick recipe. Uh, it appeared in my column about a month ago, and the readers loved it. And let's talk about that. I mean, you have a column in the New Haven Register. Yes, I do. So I was going to say, people know your name. Yeah, they sure do. I go into the supermarkets these days. And you're the guy that writes that column. You've got to change your picture, because my column has a picture of me with a mustache, which has since gone. I like you with it without it. It doesn't matter to me. We just love it. Okay, so okay. let's start dredging these. In the, uh, in, the in the flour, and this flour is actually seasoned flour. Okay. Uh, I took a cup of flour and some granulated garlic, white pepper, and salt. That's it. Okay. And uh, mixed it all together. About a cup of flour there. Oh, and wow. then we're going to dip them in the eggs. We're making a little mess, but that's okay. Yeah, it's all right. That's it. we're in the kitchen. We're here to have a good time. And actually, uh, I would suggest that when these are done, if you don't want to serve them as an appetizer, you actually serve them over uh, a angel hair pasta, and it's a full Ooh. regular meal for you, and very healthy too. Okay. Now so now we're going to uh, dip them in the egg batter. Oh, dip, okay, perfect. And then we're going and to put them it. into, that's it, and we're going to put them into the fry pan face down. All right. Okay, I'm going to heat this up a little more. Up. Okay, and are we using olive oil? We're using olive oil. It's about uh, four tablespoons of olive oil, just to saute it. And Stephen, I want to talk about some of the other stuff you're doing because you're also leading these wonderful walking tours. How did you come up with that and then what is that? Uh, again, I've traveled throughout the country. I attend a lot of food events and I uh, went on several walking tours, culinary walking tours in various cities that I've traveled to. I said, why not do it in New Haven? Because we have so many international restaurants, as yep. you know. I've seen you in many of them. Yes. And uh, we've got uh, a walkable city, a wonderful historical city with lots of beautiful buildings. And I said, let's do it a couple of years ago. It started out doing for travel writers and then people said why don't you open it to the public so the visitors bureau which is now the regional growth partnership of greater new haven and i uh teamed together to uh, put together this walking tour that has been very very well received about 10 stops on the tour and our first tour of the season is going to be on uh, april 24th and uh hopefully and what's so crazy about this and, and so awesome at the same time is you literally are walking around i mean i ran into you at abizo's yes, restaurant you did. and i and everybody at home, I see this guy, I'm like, that's Stephen Freeze, and he's with my other friend Chris, and they're sitting at this long, beautiful table. And what happens? I mean, do the restaurants kind of pick what they want you to taste? Uh, yeah, it's all scheduled to what they're going to taste. It's supposed to give the people a little idea, entice them to come back and oh, have yeah. a full meal there. So it's little tastings that they do, and uh, it's everything from your upscale restaurant to your small ethnic restaurant to cupcake trucks sometimes is available. Uh, so it really rotates about who is available that has the space to accommodate the group. Okay, so now let's talk about what we're doing here. We're going to cook this for about a minute and a half, and then we're going to turn them over. Okay. 
And let's also mention this, because this guy, when I tell you, everybody, that this man is involved with everything he is, where are you heading now? Oh, You're my gosh. Florida. You've got me gleaming. <laughs> Tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn, I will be on a flight to uh, Orlando, Florida, and I will be on the floor at the 44th Pillsbury Bake Off. There is a Connecticut resident that is uh, competing. She's a hundred, one of the 100 finalists. Wow. And, it's uh, a really big deal, It's though. a big deal. It's thousands of people actually enter this, and the winner is on Oprah. Yes, the winner will be announced on Oprah next Wednesday, and this uh, young lady, this recipe will appear in my column in the New Haven Register on Wednesday of next week. Uh, it's a very interesting savory dish. A lot of people think the Bake Off requires you to be cooking um, sweets. It's not. It's okay. different categories. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of media events, food stuff going on right up my alley. And uh, behind the scenes with chefs at Disney. And then the Bake Off is actually Monday morning from 8 to noon. And then that evening there will be the four finalists who will be uh, flown to... Um, Chicago, where Oprah's show is filmed, and the announcement will be live on her show on Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's fast forward because we're okay. against the clock. Okay. What would we want to okay. do? Okay, now we're we going to brown this, right? We're going to brown those, but okay. we're going to add the some shallots. shallots. Okay. It's one shallot chopped. You add that. Fine right? chopped. Okay. Then what are we going to do? And then we're going to um, take the juice from a quarter of a lemon, so just squeeze that in there. Okay, squeeze this in here. Yep. Okay. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. okay. Squeeze that in. Now where are we going? Next? Now we're going to add. I've already pre-measured. It's about three tablespoons of um, chicken stock. Okay. And you could use vegetable stock if you want. Oh, absolutely. Right? Okay. And then we're going to put in probably about half of this. This is um, sherry. Okay. The whole thing is sherry. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm no, just no. Teasing. And we're going to reduce that. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, and then let's juice. heat it up. I think we're on maximum heat. Okay. And then what would we do? And we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. And that, of course, to taste. Okay. Add that in there. All right. A little sea salt because we can't go Sea salt. Regular. That's right. All right. One of the things that I recently did was, and I'd love to bring it to New Haven, I attended a wonderful event in uh, Delray Beach, Florida called Savor the Avenue, and they closed the whole street off, over a thousand people, the longest banquet table you've ever seen, and it was a wonderful event. So my next idea is to bring something like that to New Sounds Haven. Sounds good. Let's get the event on the screen really quickly. Elm City event, everybody. It is the Iron Chef happening at Delia's 4 Easter Lane, Wallingford, April 18th, 1145 to 3. That's where the fun will be had. 30 bucks a ticket. Tickets are still available. Stephen Freeze, thank you so much. Our recipe, this recipe, will be on our website. Great. All right, everybody, coming up next, we are going to tell you about a life-changing fitness program for kids when Connecticut style returns. In the meantime, we're eating. Stick around.